Good morning and welcome. We're excited to have you here in Dallas for our 67th annual International Convention and Trade Show. Dallas is the birthplace of the AEA, and this is our eighth convention here since our formation in 1957. And this city helped us climb out of the pandemic in 2021 when few other cities were ready to reopen and host a trade show. We're back and better than ever in 2024. This would not be possible without the commitment from our numerous convention exhibitors and sponsors. Their support helps make this the premier event for the avionics industry. We also need to recognize that more than one third of our repair station and maintenance organization members are here this week. The hardworking AEA staff and the dedicated board of directors have assembled a fantastic week with a loaded training schedule, a sold out exhibit hall, and four days of networking and social events. You know, recently we conducted a poll in AEA Wired and the majority of respondents said they were coming to the show for training, exhibits, and new products. But an equally impressive number said they were coming here for AEA's first nighter event. And, <laughs> and if you're familiar with AEA events, you know why. This year promises to be another great year with the help of Scott Davis, CEO of Dallas Avionics, and his State Fair Records Company, sponsors of the evening's musical guests at the popular Glass Cactus. We truly have something for everyone. Today we start off with 25 new product announcements, and this afternoon our training schedule has 22 different course offerings. We have more than 100 hours of regulatory, technical, and business training here this week. New this year is the SMS Summit on Friday, which focuses on safety management systems for U.S. base EASA 145s. The session will cover developing a system that meets the requirements of the U.S.-EU bilateral agreement, as well as the needs of your organization. Emphasis will be on implementing the SMS, training employees, establishing procedures for reporting, as well as maintenance of the system, conducting audits, and measuring effectiveness. In addition to the SMS Summit, we're conducting, or continuing to concentrate on the work of the delegated authorities in this industry. All designees, regardless of their discipline, are invited to attend that session on Friday. AEA's mission is to bring this community together and give a voice to this, this essential group of professionals. The Delegates Conference has been organized by a focused subcommittee and will be facilitated by Kevin Bruce, AEA's new Director of Engineering and Certification. Kevin has served as the Association's Canadian Regulatory Consultant since 2013 and was Director of Airworthiness and Quality for Diamond Aircraft. A former Regional Manager for Aircraft Cert for Transport Canada, Kevin brings extensive regulatory knowledge and engineering experience to his new role with AEA. He will lead our efforts representing the delegate community and support AEA's expanding government and industry affairs efforts. Speaking of regulatory affairs, we have leadership here from FAA, Transport Canada, and New Zealand to round out a full regulatory schedule and tackle the topics that matter most to your business. We appreciate the participation and cooperation from these agencies, engaging them in our business and keeping them more informed on the technical aspects of our industry well, is critical to getting the job done more efficiently. Regarding technical training, a goal that came out of the AEA Member Relations Committee Forum last year was to provide OEM training through AEA's Learning Management System, also known as AERO, Aerospace Education Resources Online. Avionics manufacturers and distributors were excited to announce that AERO is your solution to provide dealer training. AEA is looking to partner with companies who have a need to train their network but may not have the learning management system in place to accomplish their goals. AEA and Aero can host training, create assessments, generate certificates, provide reports, and record keeping for interested OEMs. Many organizations have their own dealer portals, but for those without a dedicated online training solution, AEA and Aero can fill the gap. If interested, come see us at the AEA booth and we can talk more about ways to enhance your training solutions. Online training is just one of the member initiatives designed to provide more value. Last year, I announced a new addition to the AEA team to focus on workforce development. Nick Brown joined the association in June of 2023 and has spent the last nine months leading our workforce development committee and working closely with members and educators on, AEA, on ways AEA can establish a pipeline of talent, train and retain our current workforce, and build for the needs of the next generation. In fact, Nick has helped three schools start new avionics programs since his time with AEA. I would like Nick to come up on stage to share his progress and activities and how he is helping AEA members.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> Quick show of hands. How many of you are having problems hiring new entry-level technicians? That's a lot of hands. According to Forbes, 73% of employers said hiring a new technician was very difficult. In a recent study, the U.S. Commerce wrote that if every unemployed person in the country found a job, we would still have nearly three million open positions. I've talked to many of you about how not having enough technicians negatively impacts your shops. It creates long customer wait lists and leaves money on the table with missed opportunities to grow your businesses. <clears throat> However, the AEA has the solutions to our industry's biggest problems. First, we have to show career awareness to today's workforce. Creating work-based learning programs with your local high school is one of the easiest and most efficient ways to find and train technicians. Work-based learning bridges the gap between knowledge and experience and is a low-risk way to create a local pipeline of avionics technicians. Just imagine how much more business you could do if you set up a work-based learning program with your local school. Today at 1 p.m., our flight plan for talent training session will give you the tools you need to create your own local talent pipeline. In addition to building partnerships with local schools, the AEA is providing you with better ways to train your technicians. Training avionics technicians has never been easier using our online platform, Aero. We created an NCAT AET prep course to certify your new employees and with the help of our workforce committee, we are developing new online modules such as building a wire harness, pedostatic systems, and other certifications. Wouldn't it be better to invest in a proactive training program that creates an ideal technician rather than hoping they walk through your door? Finally, AEA's commitment to workforce de development isn't just focused on helping today's technician. We are laser focused on ensuring tomorrow's technicians are being prepared today. The AEA has been requested to lead the ASTM task force on building personnel standards for air, advanced air mobility, creating standards for soft skills training, and revising the NCAT AET certification. The success of an industry heavily depends on its workforce. One effective way to address the shortage of technicians is by investing in programs like Aero and work-based learning. These programs help develop the necessary skills and knowledge in technicians enabling them to excel in their roles. Ultimately, our goal is to build a strong and capable workforce that thrives in this industry. Henry Ford once said, the only thing worse than training your employees and having them leave is not training them and having them stay. I look forward to seeing you all at the flight plan for talent training session and throughout this week. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. As you can see, AEA is focused on workforce initiatives. Whether we're building for the future or training current technicians, we're telling the story of general aviation and promoting the opportunities that abound in this industry. When it comes to workforce, our general aviation businesses aren't the only ones facing a challenge. The FAA is clearly understaffed, and Congress recognizes the need to fix the problem. The FAA reauthorization bill, which was recently extended until May, hopes to address this along with several other key tenets that will benefit AEA members now and in the future. The REAUTH bill, which was passed by the House last July and remains stuck in the Senate with this new extension, requires the hiring of more safety inspectors, engineers, and technical specialists. It expands and increases funding for the FAA's Aviation Workforce Development Program to grow the aviation workforce pipeline and support the education and recruitment of pilots, technicians, and aircraft manufacturing workers. The bill also streamlines the transition for military service members to civil aviation maintenance careers and increases FAA's outreach and engagement on pathways to attain mechanic certif certifications. It's alarming to me that the aviation industry captures less than 10% of military aviation maintenance technicians. While this important piece of legislation waits for approval, the short-term extensions are doing more harm than good, hamstringing FAA operations, keeping outdated policies in place, and failing to provide critical policy updates for aviation safety, efficiency, and innovation. Despite a Senate that seems stuck in neutral, 
the general aviation industry continues to taxi towards an exciting future with near double-digit increases in aircraft shipments year over year, a resilient economy, and innovative new tech on the horizon, the aircraft electronics industry has a very promising future. You will see this on display in the classroom and in the exhibit hall here this week. And your association and Avionics News will be here to cover it all for you. In the meantime, take advantage of everything this show and this association has to offer. We're glad you're here with us in Dallas and we look forward to spending the week with you, maximizing your time and your value. Arrow News Network's coverage of the 67th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show live from Grapevine, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Send Solutions is proud to announce a software edition for the already certified AirText Plus that is set to revolutionize navigation security. This is the first independent spoof-proofing product on the market designed to keep your navigation system accurate and error-free. Your exposure to spoofing is growing as the technology becomes more readily available. Find out how to protect your aircraft from spoofing at GoAirText.com.